Good morning everyone. So welcome you all to the third tutorial in the JMeter series and today we'll be covering up HTTP request. So below are the two topics that we're gonna cover today. First is the HTTP request sampler. Second is configuring default values for HTTP request with HTTP request default component. So basically let's open the JMeter first. Yeah. So we'll start with the default view what we see for JMeter. Save now. Okay. So what is HTTP request first of all? So any request that is going on to the server using HTTP protocol is a HTTP request. So basically simple example is your websites. Whenever you load websites and do any actions on it, maybe opening a web URL or something like that. So this is a kind of HTTP request that goes to the server to fetch out the page. So how does this work? So before adding a sampler, I need to add a thread group. I'm not increasing the user because just we want to see how HTTP request works. So I've added a thread group and number of users are only one. So for testing purposes, we can also increase it to five users. So inside a thread group, you can add a sampler that is a HTTP request sampler. Okay. So the basic components out here is, first of all, you can rename it according to the project you're working out for. So I would rename it as test sample one test sample one. So these are the major configurable properties that you want to configure to make sure that your JMeter is hitting the right server. So first is your JMeter name. I mean sorry it's a server name. Second most important thing is your path and then the protocol or the method. Method as you all know that get is for fetching something, post is for submitting something on the server for example filling a form and clicking on submit and delete trace patch options these are all the methods that you want to use with your request also you can send some parameters by default along with your request so where are these helpful for example i want to log in into an application using an email id and a password so I can send email ID and password out here with the parameters by adding the parameters. Just giving an example, for example, say email is abc at gmail.com and then you want to add password. Password, say password 01 and you want it to be encoded. Just to make sure that the password is not, you know, it's not used by any third party tools. Just make sure it is encoded. So now comes the thing, the server name and the path, which is very important. So before I explain on this JMeter, just want to open a website to make you understand what is the server name and the path. So I have just opened it a web page test.com. This is just a demo website. I found it on a Google and just want to use it to, you know, make you understand that what is a server and what is a path. So this URL, this is the server name, right? And as of now, it does not have any path because we are on the home page. So for example, if I click on forums so you see the URL changes here it's web page test org slash forums and this slash forum is your path now right because you are going inside a website and as you move further inside your path keeps on increasing right okay so we can copy the server name from here and go back to the home page. This is the server name. Go back to the JMeter, put the server name here as webpagetest.org. 
it is very important to know that you need not put www or http in front of the server name so we'll have two requests now i mean we'll we'll go with two requests one is hitting the home page of this website and another to the forum path we just saw so i'll remove these parameters from here because we don't need login on this website okay so we don't have any path so we can put it as slash so this will go on the home page you can add a listener here to store your results so since we haven't gone to the listener as of now so listener are just tables or different type of graphs that you can use to view your result we'll explain these in the later section but as we are using it now so just giving you an overview of what listeners are right so we can add another request add sampler http request so the server name would be the same because it's hitting the same web server and you can copy the path out from here forums right I hope you are able to understand. I have opened this website just to make sure that you understand what your paths and server name are, right? So we are just fetching the web page, so this would remain as get only, right? So protocol by default is HTTP, but as you can see here, so HTTP S request, you can use HTTP S out here, right? okay so you can add another listener out here to view the result of this sampler in the table right so now I'm, I'm i'm just assuming that we are testing performance testing of this server that is behind this website or the web server so we'll have n number of pages out here for example if i go to about here this has a different path this has a different path so we would have n number of requests with the same server parameters, right? Okay. So now if I go on and execute this request, save your test plan. You can save it if you want. Otherwise, you can click on no to move ahead. Right? So as you can see that you've, get, you've got the results out here with all the five samples. So this was the very basic of how HTTP requests work. If I talk about the flow out here, so here is our J meter. Right? So if this is my server, and J meter is hitting it. Say it is n number of requests out here. It is making use of HTTP request sampler for hitting the server and getting back the response right so this is the basic flow of how HTTP request works so probably the one we just covered out was about getting a web page so you may have another scenario in which you want you know 10 users to submit a form at the same time so for that you need to change this method out here because you have to put it to post out here and maybe you also have to send some parameters along with the request or the form that you know you're gonna make sure that all the users submitted the form correctly and it is being saved out there right so now the second part of our tutorial is HTTP request defaults so as you can see I mean first of all why does this came into picture do we need something out here which is not required so if you see the request first and the request second, see the server name is the same, protocol same, method same, path different, right? And 
you would have say around 50 requests going on to the same server with many configurations that are same. So here is what come into picture that is the config element HTTP request defaults. So it is basically same as what we are seeing in request sampler, right? So if I put the server name out here, right? I'm not renaming it because you can rename it according to what if you need it out there. So I'll move it to the top, right? So I have put the server name here and I'm not changing anything else here. You can, you can change the port number, connect time, response time. So basic overview is that if my HTTP request default, request default is there, all the default values will be applied to all my HTTP samplers. S1 is sampler 1, S2 is sampler 2, and any number of samplers that I have in that thread group, right? So in above case, I have two samplers, test sample 1, and I'll rename it as test sample 2, right? So both the samplers are hitting the same servers, and I have to put the server name or IP again and again in every request I'll be executing right but if I put server name in request default I do not need to put it anywhere in any request under the same thread group so first of all clear all results since I have already put the server name here you can remove it from here and from here but you can keep the path because these paths are different for these two this is leading to forums and we can also add another sampler and a listener to it and this sampler would hit this path that is about so I'll put path about it and a slash right so now we have three requests one on the home page and two on different paths and I have put this server name in the request default and removing it from all other requests. Put it as get, right? Get, get. So when JMeter executes this test plan, first of all, it will iterate the request defaults and store all the parameters here. If it finds server name, it will store server name for all the other requests that gonna follow here and put it automatically and we do not have to put it again and again. So if I execute this, save no. See all the requests have gone to the server that is why the status is green as we are getting something out from there. Latency is there, then throughput is also there. Connect time is mentioned bytes around 42,476 bytes received. So basically this is the function of HTTP request default that it lets you not to add some values to every HTTP request because at the end of the day we're gonna test a same website but all the features out there. So the server name would be the same, path may differ, protocol could be the same, your path could be the same and many things that you do not need to change in every request. It makes your life easier, right? So if even if I want to use this thing timeout, for example, this is something like if I put the timeout here as one, say 100 milliseconds, so if my server is not getting, you know, not sending response within that 100 milliseconds, my test would fail. And if I have put this in this test default only, then I do not need to put it out here, put it out here, put it out here, or whatever number of requests I have under my thread group. 
all values will be taken up from the HTTP request defaults. So I hope by example of that website, you all must be clear by now how to use HTTP request in your projects now. So we'll be covering the FTP request in the next tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you so much.